Hey guys, you know I am. You know you are. What's going on, everybody? It's 1987 Mastermind here. Yeah, I gotta do a reveal of this bad boy right here. I beat the game today, this afternoon. And let me tell you something. This is one of the best. Forget about Batman games. You know what I'm saying? I've never was a crazy fan of Batman. I'm, you know, I wasn't like brought up with the comics and everything like that. But this game is one of the the best video games I've ever played. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna stop there. Everything about it, you know. Let me just tell you: in the first game, you were just in Arkham Asylum. Obviously, the prequel. This is a year after Batman, and oh my God. The one thing about this game, let's first talk about the graphics. The graphics in this game make you feel like you're in Arkham City. The atmospheric feeling, the fact that you hear their surveillance and they're talking about what you just did in your mitten objective. Let's say you want to stop the Joker somewhere. I heard, and they have, it's so funny how they have the New York the New Yorker accent. I don't have that accent. I don't know, the Brooklyn accent. But I have to have the real New Yorker accent. You know, you did the Batman got you Joker. I can't do a good one, but. It makes, it makes it so believable. I mean, in most of the games, the NPCs, I think that's what you call them, the, you know, the other, you know, the characters in the environment, they don't really, they don't really connect. It's just, the world comes to life in this game. And the twist, oh my god, I don't want to say the twist. You know what, screw it. I mean, I don't know, there are so many, you know, people on YouTube, I don't want to screw it, but maybe, maybe I'll talk about the twist and a possible, I believe, a return Arkham City 3, whatever they're going to make it, whatever they're going to call it, and you know what? I think so. But let me just get to the gameplay. Next, gameplay. One thing that they changed in Arkham City is that you can use your weapons, your gadgets. You had, the, you know, the weapon you sprayed the thing and it blew up stuff and it blew up broken walls and stuff like that. And now you have this electric thing that opens up doors and stuff like that. That's another gadget you get. And you have a battering. You know, if you played, what's the game called again? Oh, I forgot what the game's called. It was a pretty popular game last year. I forgot. Oh, man, it's escaping my mind. But it had that weapon where you could you could track and you could make it. It's like a, sort of like a follow, miss, a follow missile. Um, and you could actually, they use that with the black bat claw. And that is pretty cool. But one thing that this game does so amazingly is that, you know, most games, you could just go guns blazing. Shoot the guy up, tear him up, use magic, kill him. In this game, it actually wants you to think. They obviously give you Batman. He could scan the room and he could see what's going on in the room. They do that for a reason. They want you to think smart. Okay, there are five guys over here. There's one guy downstairs. Take this guy out first. They'll get nervous. Let them separate. Take the other guy out. Next. Take the other guy out. You know what I'm saying? It teaches you to be smart. If I go back up, I'll be able to get away from them, and they'll be so scared again. If you screw up and you go in guns blazing and you, and you try to kill all the guys at once, you'll die. And that's happened to me several times. My point being in this game, my point being, I should say, is that this game actually makes you it makes you feel so satisfied because it's like man it's like now that I thought about what I was doing and I was smart and I said hey I should attack it from the other way and then you you know it's just such a satisfying feeling that I've never experienced in any other any other game they don't do that you go in there there's a bunch of guys in the room you beat them up blue blah 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 puzzle that's it this game none of that it actually teaches you to be smart it, you, you know, you don't go in there guns blazing and everything else, and I'm not going to spoil, but this game it does have some RPG elements to it. There's one particular part of the game, and I recommend, if you're going to get this game, I mean, obviously now it's after, it's October 24th today, I believe, get this game and play as Catwoman. There's a big twist, okay, I'm not going to say what it is, but there's a role-playing element in there, and it's like, I think... I mean, I'm not calling me on this, but 
you could depending on what you do, the, the, it's different. Uh, it's a different outcome of the game. I'm just curious to see what happens. It, you know, if I do it the other way, I'm not going to say what, obviously, because that's spoiler free. This video, but obviously the cast with uh, my, Mark Hamill, I think it's yeah, and Ken Conroy as obviously the bat. From the classic comics, just adds the flavor. I think that Mark Hamill is a freaking awesome genius. That guy is sick. Every time I hear that laugh, you know when I hear Pyro's videos, and he goes, ah, ah, I can't do it, I, obviously. It's like, it makes you crack up. The guy, and the way that he's so sadistic and actually is like, he's like nice and I can't explain it, but let me tell you. I don't know. I consider, in my humble opinion, I don't have the game with me. But I consider, in my opinion, Mass Effect 2 to be one of the greatest games of this gen. In my humble opinion. But Batman Arkham City is way up there. Because of this reason. The combat, it's brilliant. The way they actually make you think. It's not like in another game where it's a beat em up, shoot em up, and, 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 you, and you get through the next mission and that's it. This game, you actually have to think about how you're going to attack it. You know? And that to me is awesome. No, a lot of other games don't do that. Obviously, this is besides Deus Ex, which I haven't done a review for yet, and I have played the game and beat it. You know, but anyways, if you want me to give you a score of this game, I'm not going to give it a 10. Because there was one part of the game uh, where I got pissed off, where you have to, like, tilt the switch. And I didn't know you had to put it through an electrical thing. Electric, uh, put it, you had to, like, go gotta do this, this electrical thing or something like that and and, and, and malfunction the switch because it only can be done that way and that was pissing me off that part that was the only thing if you want me to give you an honest score of this game I'm telling you right now this game gets a 9.7 this game is one of the best games you'll ever play now let me say something to all you Wii fans you are morons you are missing out I know this is supposed to be a rager, I mean, a, a Batman Arkham City, but this, I can't help myself. You know, there's been a whole fight on YouTube with, uh, you know, General G and some other YouTube morons, we tarts and crazy we, we Look, I have nothing against the Wii, but those people go out of their way to defend the Wii. Look, the Wii is dead. It's, Nintendo right now is crap. That's it. Let me just put it boldly. I mean, let's just put it, let's just put it uh, bluntly. Right now, it's losing its charm. Nintendo used to be... Nintendo that I know and loved in my past, when I got a Nintendo 64 and played uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, is not there anymore, in my humble opinion. And to me, they're missing out. They're missing out on some awesome games. Uncharted 3, where I stated in my video earlier today, got a 10. Arkham City, Skyrim, Battlefield, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Portal 2. What else? Let me just bring up some, something from my list. Hold on a second, guys. Uh, gotta find the game. Mortal freaking Kombat. They can't play this game, my friend. And that's a shame. Because these games are freaking awesome. They're amazing. And they're missing out on Batman Arkham City. I don't have to pick it up every time I say Batman Arkham City. <laughs> but they're missing out on some of the greatest games an amazing experience and I felt like you know when a game is good when you know a game is freaking epic when you can't put down the controller if this game I played yesterday I mean I never done it before I put like four uh, maybe five or six hours straight I could not put down the freaking controller the game those twists in this game I wish I could talk about it but I don't want to screw it up for those who haven't played it it's not fair it happened to me many times where I clicked on a button and I saw the ending of a game and I was so pissed I was playing the game and I got mad and pissed off. I have a little cold, guys. Sorry if I sound a little nasal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, but you know what? It pisses me off that these people go out of their way to defend Nintendo. And they're not going to buy another console. You know who you guys are, you, know, you Nintendo morons. They're not going to buy another console because if they do, it's a sin. It's like they, it's like, you know, this guy Joseph150, awesome YouTube guy, solid guy, talked about it. Gaming versus life. I mean, I think these people, these a couple of YouTubers and Nintendo people, and you know who you are. I mean, gaming is more, Nintendo, defending Nintendo is more important than life. And it's experiencing some awesome freaking games that I think is revolutionary. I mean, 
you know what? You deserve what you get, you Nintendo morons. Go to hell. That's what I say. I think you're stupid. And if you have the money, screw it. Buy a PS3. Buy a 360. There are so many great games out there, and you're left behind with stinking PS2 type graphics and st stupid GameCube graphics from the from the early 2000s. From previous, you're still stuck on previous gen. You're still not on the current gen right now. You're missing out. I had to say this because Batman Arkham City is one of the best games I've ever played. Is it as good as Mass Effect 2? No. I think Mass Effect 2 is the greatest game of this generation. I have obvious reasons why. But I'm not going to discuss that because this video is already going over 10 minutes. Anyways, Arkham City in my book gets a 9.7. One of the best games this year. One of the best games of this gen in my opinion. One of the best games in this... Yeah, I could go on for hours and talk 40 minutes, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this, enjoyed this review of my Arkham City. Get this game. If you don't have a console, you don't have a PS3 or 360 or a PC, get a 360 and a PS3 and buy this game. You have to. This game is freaking sick! Yeah! Alright, guys, take care.